Hey, what's going on there, folks? Uh, Earthmaster here checking in. It is Friday, July 12th, 2019, 6.15 Pacific Time. And taking a look at the uh, live Earthquake Live 3D uh, screen over here on the right side. And also some live data over there on the left with, uh, well, a pretty cool webcam down in Tehachapi, California. Southern California area near the Ridgecrest area where all the earthquake activity is taking place uh, and it's still continuing to take place as you can see on the live seismograph stations here we have uh, well quite a bit of activity um, every uh, every couple minutes or so I can't really say that the activity has died down because I don't think it really has um, we'll go ahead and take a look at some numbers right now and get a better overview of the um, multitude of earthquakes here let's see I thought it was gonna pop up Let me try that here there we go okay um, so yeah I'm just looking at the most recent map here from the Caltech website once again uh, most updated that's why it took a second to do that uh, uh, show up on the screen there just updated it itself um, taking a look there folks there's still quite a bit of activity the 7.1 is still showing up on the map um, 11,481 earthquakes of course most of that activity occurring in and around the Ridgecrest area it doesn't look like there's too much activity elsewhere um, which is kind of strange but uh, we'll zoom in and take a look at the main area of the Ridgecrest region in Southern California and on here once again, you guys can see the total amount, 10,663. Now, I think we're starting to see some drop-off of activity. Um, just due to that 6.4, uh, I believe that has now dropped off of the map. I'll have to check on that. But uh, either way, earthquake activity is still continuing. And... Um, the multitudes are, are still up there. The magnitudes really haven't gotten too much bigger. Um, and the movement is still kind of towards the uh, northern uh, region and, of course, right around the epicenter area. Uh, we can get a better idea of the magnitudes on this other map here from the USGS. Looks like they just had another one there, a little uh, 2.6 showing up there near Little Lake, California. Uh, this map right here is showing the 2.5 and above activity over the last seven days there you guys can see that right there from the USGS um, so this isn't going to pick up all the magnitudes that are you know continuously occurring almost like every minute um, under 2.5 so there's going to be like a lot less earthquake activity up in the Seattle region I will cover that here in just a second uh, I do want to cover the Southern California quakes real quick and take a look at their uh, migration that uh, is continuing there towards the northwestern region. Let me zoom in just a tad bit here. And let's get this thing working right. There we go. So red earthquake activity, I think, you know, they're, of course this is 2.5 and above, so it's not going to show a lot of the activity, but nonetheless still some activity in the 2.5 range. Even some more moderate earthquake activity, um, let's see, let's zoom up here a little bit, over the last uh, day or so since I've done the update video here, I believe they had a 4.9 magnitude right there. Four Point nine, you can see that right there on the map. Um, that's that blue dot. That's kind of in an area south southwest of the epicenter of the seven point one that struck there quite a few days ago now. So uh, that kind of shook up the Ridgecrest area. Uh, a lot of folks feeling that earthquake down there as well. Um, so once again, just looking over these magnitudes here, you see quite a few twos, quite a few upper threes. Uh, there's another 4.1, uh, so quite a few fours popping up in here as well. Let's keep doing it, going down this list here and uh, 
seeing what all we can find. Another four pointer. Uh, 4.4 as well. I think I just passed that up. 4.5, 4.4. That was the other day when we started seeing that migration towards the north. Um, but uh, the activity kind of that, that has been migrating has slowed down a little bit. I mean, I don't think it really has advanced any closer to the separate fault system that's up here, the uh, Owens Valley Fault that uh, of course is capable of producing uh, you know a pretty good sized earthquake there 7.9 or so um, so in that fault system let me see if it's actually going to show up right now I've been having some uh, issues with that uh, showing up on the map okay so there's the southern part of the Owens Valley fault system right there um, let me get this thing popping up here yeah right there So yeah, we're still looking at, uh, on a scale that I'm looking at right now, it's about, uh, well, I got three miles or so. So we're still within about, at least for the 2.5 magnitudes, we're still within about uh, four miles or so from that southern part of the fault, but uh, still within the range of the Coso volcanic field out there. And of course, their latest, latest updated information states that there's no threat of uh, any type of volcanic eruption or any type of volcanic activity occurring in that region. Um, and of course, the cluster of quakes down here that uh, extends down towards the uh, Ridgecrest area. Still quite a bit of activity, there's no doubt. Um, definitely not... Uh, saying there's not of course a lot of this 2.5 activity is getting a little bit older um, so this will probably be dropping off the map here pretty soon uh, depending on when these earthquakes took place here uh, Ridgecrest of course being down here in this in this uh, region near China Lake let's see here yeah, there's Ridgecrest right there um, as far as any other weird type of activity that I'm noticing on here, not a whole lot. Um, it looks as though maybe we're starting to get just a little bit. Um, I don't think I noticed this before, but it looks like there, there's a little bit of southward motion uh, migration towards, well, towards the south, southeast region, towards that specific fault right there. Um, earthquakes just updated right now, so... Hold on a second, let's see if you guys can see that fault that I'm looking at, which you can't. Okay, there's that little red line right there. Let me see if I can bring up the fault name. You can see the southern edge of uh, all the activity is kind of stopping at this garlic fault zone, central garlic section, garlock section, um, and it's not really advancing any further past there. Of course, that's a different type of fault system and a different uh, uh, in, in a different uh, direction, I guess you could call it. So that'd be kind of weird if we started seeing uh, seeing some action on there. But uh, overall picture, folks, um, activity still continues, and there's definitely no uh, no decline. Um, like I say, we've seen that 4.9, so activity is still um, continuing. Um, I do want to cover an earthquake that happened up in Washington here um, earlier today. I don't know exactly how much earlier, but uh, wow, okay, so that's kind of weird. Hopefully this thing doesn't freeze up on me. This has been having some issues with the, uh, the USGS fault system here and the maps. I don't know what's going on, but occasionally it does freeze up. So. Not a whole lot of activity occurring up here, folks, but there is some renewed, act or not renewed, but some new activity um, in the moderate category with a couple earthquakes up here. Uh, east, well, kind of northeast of the Seattle region there, 4.6 and a 3.5 magnitude there um, within the region. I'm sure the folks up there definitely felt the uh, 4.6, possibly even the 3.5. Um, as far as fault systems go, I'm not seeing any really. Let me zoom in just a tad bit. See what we got in there. Uh, this occurred close to Monroe, Washington. Of course.
forests a little bit further to the west is where we run into a portion of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. But this this activity right here is kind of a, a little interesting because there's really no fault systems out here. Of course, all these mountains and whatnot are, uh, are uh, of course, created over millions of years ago and whatnot. But um, let me check out the depth on this thing real quick. It looks like... Uh, So we're only looking at about 28 kilometers below the surface here for that 4.6 and relatively the same for the others. Uh, felt reports, you can see uh, quite a few folks there felt it within the region. Um, but yeah, it's interesting to see what type of activity uh, continues, if any, after these uh, earthquakes there. Like I say, 28 kilometers below the surface, a little bit of activity. Um, I know Mount Hood uh, there towards the uh, Portland, Oregon region there had a little bit of minor activity around the uh, volcanic region, the volcanic dome area, not necessarily within, well, kind of like at the base of the uh, of the volcano there at Mount Hood, just some minor activity, uh, but nothing major. And these were like relatively small quakes, uh, but uh, definitely some action showing up here on the west coast. Uh, along the North American plate, which includes, of course, Washington and uh, uh, the Ridgecrest area in Southern California. Of course, anything west of the San Andreas Fault System sits on the uh, Pacific plate, including the uh, Los Angeles area. So, uh, not a whole lot of action going on on that separate uh, section, but uh, definitely seen some inland quakes there. So we're getting uh, we're getting a little bit of action there. Let's see here real quick. I have to go back here. Hold on a second here. I guess we can take a look on this map right here. Now once again, you can see, uh, like I say, quite a bit of activity. I have 3.0 and above showing up uh, on the Earthquake 3D globe from the USGS. And it's, uh, it's still quite a bit, folks, in the 3.0. And above range looks like latest earthquake uh, 3.2 down there you can see that showing up uh, on that seismograph station there in the Ridgecrest area that's this 3.2 showing up looks like it's showing up as well on the Mammoth Lakes uh, just a tad bit uh, but anything stronger than the 3.2 will uh, definitely be uh, showing up quite nicely here on other stations that is uh, the rest of the globe, uh, definitely some, some large earthquake activity there. I believe it was yesterday we started to see that 6.0. Um, that should have dropped off the globe. I'm not for sure why it's still up there. But uh, 6.0 over there towards the Indonesia Islands region and also some, uh, some serious activity, 6.1, up here just southwest of the... Uh, let me get the exact location on that. Let's see where that 6.1's at out there. Uh, yeah, just a little bit south, well, northwest of Japan, 6.1, 174 kilometers northwest of uh, NAZE. I'm guessing that's Nazi or Naze, Japan region, 237 kilometers below the surface. Therefore, uh, the ring is definitely raised off of the globe. On this uh, section here, you can see it pretty raised off the globe. Um, just still a lot of activity occurring out here on the Pacific Plate. Uh, inland, as far as the rest of the United States goes, relatively quiet, as far as 3.0 and above goes. Uh, even over on this part of the world, it's all older activity that's just about ready to drop off the globe. Right now, um, just a clutter of quakes out here towards the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Uh, so it looks as though we may see something on the larger size happening out here pretty soon within the areas of uh, of, uh, of of lack of activity I should say where we're starting to see those uh, in between the 6.1 and the 6.0 they had there a couple days ago uh, probably might just be in that cluster of quakes over here by Indonesia we'll have to keep an eye on that uh, but like I say we also got clusters down here by Fiji uh, so take your pick
good possibility we could see something on the larger size here uh, coming up pretty soon, folks. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to do a quick update. Uh, like I say, nothing really super new to report on the Ridgecrest Southern California quakes. Um, aside from that 4.9 this morning, no major quakes down there. Um, you know, no volcanic type activity occurring down there. Just we're still continuing to see that pretty fairly uh, significant level of quakes occurring, you know, every minute or so, every couple minutes or so. Um, in this case, that 3.2 looks like it's going to be the largest within a few minutes. Uh, once that passes off the data globe or the data station there, we'll start to see those other smaller quakes pop up, which are pretty much flatlined right now. So um, I will be back on just a little bit later. Just want to do an update video for the folks that may not be out here on the live stream. Uh, so in the meantime, we'll get back to the live stream here and get this update video posted and we'll go from there. Um, have a good one, folks. We'll chat you guys in a little bit.